Hey everyone, just got the Mr. Coffee 12 cup programmable coffee maker. So the last one we had just died, so we're gonna try this one out, open it up and see what's all included and then uh, make a pot of coffee. All right, let's see what all, uh, all we have in here. Yeah, our last coffee machine uh, just stopped working the other day, so we just ordered this. But we went with a different model than the last one. We had the, uh, I think it was the Black & Decker model. There some things, it was a good coffee maker, but there's some things I didn't like about it. I wanted to try this one, this seemed like it had pretty good reviews. This one came with a reusable uh, filter, and so that'll be nice. You can you know, rinse it out after each time, and uh, nice big lid. So if you ever do have to clean it out, you can actually get your hand down there. Um, I know our last one really couldn't. Uh, you'd have to use a brush or something if you wanted to clean it, but that's kind of nice how the whole lid lifts up like that. Twelve cup pot. Yeah, this seems like a better material. I don't know if it'll. Uh, the last one we had, it got really nasty, and all this paint started chipping off. This seems like more of a, a better coating than the last one had. And as far as the settings, uh, you can brew it later. Um, so yeah, you set your clock and then you can set the brew time if you want to make it at night and then it goes off in the morning and then the brew now feature. So really not too many buttons, um, but yeah, let's go try to make a pot of coffee and see how it does. Okay, it's early. I need a cup of coffee. So let's go ahead and make this. Got it plugged in. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set the time. So it's 7.41 in the morning. the reusable filter in there this thing just swings out of the way um, and then yeah, if you wanted to take this out and clean it but that just kind of pops down in there filter back I need to add my coffee scoops today. Put our nozzle back and then fill up the reservoir. Close the lid and then we'll hit brew now. See what we get. Okay, there's coffee still on the pot up top, and there's one thing I wanted to try. I poured a cup, is I want to take this out and see how much coffee spills when. Uh, when it hasn't finished draining yet. So let's see, we'll take it out. So you got about one drop, it's not too bad. I don't feel like anyone's ever perfect. That's better than my last one, I think. All right, let's see how this tastes.
pretty good. Uh, we were using the uh, paper filters before. So I think yeah, with the uh, washable filter, uh, I think you probably get more flavor just because it, uh, I think it allows some of the, the fall, smaller fines to go through. I think you end up getting more of the coffee flavor. But uh, yeah, happy with it. If you want to do the uh, brew later feature, um, you press brew later, but let's see, because it's still brewing now. I'll turn it off. We'll click brew later. So it starts flashing and then you'll set your time. So let's say you wanted it at six in the morning and then you can hit it again. And with the solid light on, that means it's set. If you wanted to change the time, you hit it again. You change your mind about 6 a.m. You can change it to something else. And you don't have to press it. Um, eventually, I think the light will go away, but then it's not set. So it's 6.05, but if you actually want to set it, you want the solid light. Now, a couple things I like and don't like about this unit. Um, you can see my old unit right beside here. This is the Black & Decker model. Um, the thing I don't like about this is this basket. It's on the spring and it has to line up in this hole right here. But it seemed like, I mean, you bounce it and it always was wanting to bounce out. And it, if this lid won't close unless it's perfectly in there. But with the spring, it's like always trying to find its way out. So I didn't like that. Um, this will be to, de to be determined if this one does it. But the surface down here, just when you pull the coffee out, this thing got really nasty. And like the paint was like chipping off here. Um, so we'll see if this one does that as well. I wanted to show you how much this one dripped. I felt like it dripped a lot more. The last one just dripped, had one drip. So let's see. Okay, so water's running through. Okay, so that's one drip about two. Well, that was, I feel like that was a little more as far as it's hard to tell. Um, one thing I don't like about this unit, it's really not a big deal, but just trying to, trying to be fair. Uh, this unit, uh, from the front, you can see the, uh, See the gauge as far as your level. This one, uh, you have to go around to the side and it's not as obvious. It's a little hard to read. So I would say that is a negative of this one, but really, I mean, you can open the lid and see how much water you got. So um, not a big deal. But yeah, uh, this one was a good unit while we had it. I think we had it three or four years, but uh, pretty much I plug it in and uh, it powers on, but there's no, uh, it, yeah, it just didn't heat up anymore and it didn't pump water. Uh, so instead of going with the same model, uh, I wanted to try something different. Uh, so, so far I like this, but yeah, we'll see, uh, see how it does over time. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and, uh, I'll put the links of both these coffee makers in the description. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.